Hey, Jonathan here at Colfax Math. I'm going to do one problem from Trig Identities and Equations. This is from the Oxford textbook of Math Analysis and Approaches. It's Math SL, uh, Standard Level, and this is Section 12.3. Um, solve for the equation 4 cosine of x minus 3 sine of x equals 0. This is a multiple argument problem, meaning that there is both a cosine and a sine. So I have to kind of use all of my algebra skills and all my trig skills for a problem like this. So multiple arguments is like having 4x minus 3y equals 0. Two variables in one equation I can't solve. I need another equation for substitution. So I have to know my trig identities. And one of those identities is that tangent of any angle is equal to sine of any angle over cosine of that same angle. So tangent's equal to sine over cosine. I'm going to use that here. And if I know this is where I need to go, I could tell I need to have sine on the opposite side of the equation and then divide through by cosine. So the first thing I'm going to do is add 3 sine of x to both sides. That'll give me 4 cosine of x is equal to 3 sine of x. All right, I added 3 sine of x to both sides. I'm going to divide both sides by cosine of x. There's no addition subtraction signs, um, so I could divide cleanly like this. And then additionally, I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So my 3's will cancel on this side. My cosines will cancel on that side, and it'll leave me with sine of x over cosine of x is equal to 4 thirds. Then now this is where I use my identity substitution. Sine over cosine is tangent, so that means tangent of x is equal to 4 thirds. It's a positive ratio of sides where the opposite is 4 and the adjacent is 3 so that's going to happen in the first quadrant where I have a triangle with an opposite of 4 and adjacent of 3 or in the third quadrant down here where the opposite is negative 4 and the adjacent is negative 3 um, I could use Pythagorean theorem to say 3 squared plus 4 squared is 5 squared but this problem is asking me to solve for x to measure this angle. And it's between 0 and 2 pi. And because it's between 0 and 2 pi, it's telling me it's radian. So what I'm going to do on my calculator is the first thing I do is I go to radian mode. So I'm in radian mode. And I'm trying to solve this equation here. I take the arc tan on both sides. That'll cancel with that. X will be equal to the arc tan of 4 thirds. So I'm going to do that on my calculator. The second tangent of 4 divided by 3 is 0.92. So this is 0.93 radians. Just because I'm a builder, I know that this angle, the equivalent is, I think, 53 degrees in a four, three, four, five triangle. So if it was in degrees, this would be 53 degrees. But it's radians because the domain is between 0 and 2 pi. This reference down here is also 0.93. But I want to know the actual angle, so I start here. I rotate around 90, or pi over 2, pi plus 0.93. So my first solution is 0.93. My second solution is 0.93 plus half a cycle pi. So this is 0.93, and this is 3.14 plus 0.93, or 4.07. So those are my two solutions in this domain of 0 to 2 pi. All right, hopefully that helped on that problem. It's a little bit tricky. There's a lot of pieces put together. Algebra skills, trig skills, identity, solving equations, knowing the fact that given a 
dependent variable of ratio of size, there's an infinite series of solutions, and then cutting that off with a domain. So this is Jonathan at Colfax Math, um, going over trig identities and equations, how to solve this one problem.